Right, we got our protector dog, we got our chickens, and they're gonna make them a bed in this thing. Building a chicken tractor, the store-bought eggs suck. These are the little walls. Okay, so I'm using a bunch of junk, true two inch by four inch lumber. Um, this is all salvage stuff I got off the farm. And no, normally you build a chicken tractor, you want it to be lightweight and easily movable. I have real tractors to move this with. And I'm worried about this thing blowing off the hill or blowing over. So we're building it heavy. Okay, this is my chicken tractor, and it is windy as all get out. So I built this thing out of scraps and pieces that were sitting around the farm. Um, is not a hole? Oh, trip over that. So there is not much to this thing. Uh, the only thing I bought out of this entire project was staples, hardware cloth, and I had all the tin, I had all the two by fours, I had everything, and I uh, put this thing together. It's quick and dirty cheap. It's uh, 10 by, what is this, 10 by 12? I think it'll hold a lot of chickens, so we're gonna find out. I don't know anything about chickens, so chime in in the comments. What do you guys think? Is this gonna work? I'm hoping the predators can't get into it. We uh, stapled the heck out of everything, put these little strips over everything. All this hardware cloth is stapled in with the good stuff. And I put these guys out. <clears throat> to keep the uh, digging critters out from under it. So hopefully that works. I'm gonna take you into the shop. And uh, holy cow, what a mess in here. Um, so they're currently in here. I got the chicks, I set them up in this because this is what every feed store in the, in the world seems to have them in. Got the heat lamp there, I just unplugged it. And uh, there, there's too many of them in there. Um, the guy at the feed store said I could have like 60 of them in something this size. and now that they're bigger i i don't think i think it's too crowded for them and they're 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 not fighting but they're constantly pecking at each other and hopping on each other and they're just constantly in motion as everybody's bumping into each other so we are going to get these guys outside because i swear to god these things got twice as big in the last two days they were small and now they're chickens so I don't know what the heck's going on. What do you guys think? It's pretty nice. You want to put some chickens in it? Yep. Okay. Go so put them in a chicken coop, Logan. Okay. Catch them nicely and put them in the chicken coop. Hi. Oh, yeah. Catch one, Logan. Do they like it in there? Turn yeah. around so I can catch you. There we go. Okay, don't don't go fast. Just just watch for one and reach down and get them. No eyeballs. Oh, I see eyeballs. Because I'm really hungry right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, these guys are supposed to turn purple. Get one, Logan? Oh, you put an eggshell in there. Mm hmm Yeah. They ate a bunch of it. 
Okay, pull your hand. There you go. Oh, you almost had him. Okay, Logan. You got one? Good. I got you. Yeah. This is not one thing to pick up. He sets up when you put him down. Got him. Like Got him. Hold his feet. Put his feet under him. He's right here. Uh, he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> you scared him, Logan. Not that they might prove. <laughs> He's a two. Yep. Don't hurt their wings. Big one, Logan. Oh, Logan got the big one. He did? Yep, oh, wow. he flew right in the door. Get him in. Get them in so they don't fly away. We don't want the kitties to get them. All right, so the, the intended plan of this is I've got all this grass out here, and I've got acres and acres of grass, and I don't see any reason why these chickens can't be out here running amok in this field. And I've got four other fields, so... I'm gonna put some wheels on this thing, and for now I can pull it with a tractor. I don't wanna have to pull it with a tractor during the wet season. And my goal is to move them around and they'll fertilize the grass and eat the bugs and it should work out. So let me guys, let me know in the comments, you guys, if you know more about this than I do, what, uh, what would you go with? I need to get some laying boxes and I think some kind of a little shelter for them to go in, in at night um, would probably be a good idea. But uh, throw a comment up. What do you guys think? Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day. I got it. Oh, oh. Oh, and those are the winners. <laughs> They're fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. You need to peck your nose pickle. <laughs> You nice. better not. Nice. You Good better snow. not. <laughs> you leave the chicken house. alone. You protect them. Don't house. pass it. Oh, hold him, hold him. Good. Good job. Oh. Don't get flowing in. There you go. Don't step on them. Thank you. All right, we got them all. Yep. Yeah. You think the water? Yep. Whoa, so my plan is I'm going to put this thing in here on its side so they'll still have a heat lamp because it's still getting kind of cold at night so I don't want them to get too cold I don't know if that's a thing they're pretty feathered in a um, couple of the small guys they're still showing a little bit of a little bit of fuzz but um, for the most part I think they're all feathered in so they're gonna probably be just fine out here they'll be able to come and go as they please they're all kind of half huddled over here we got a few that are out moving and shaking they're making a lot of racket but this is all new to them so i am gonna keep an eye on whether they're under the heat lamp or not and what they're doing and uh, haven't had one die yet so i'm hoping this will be positive movement and another protector over there
we just pulled it forward with the tractor haven't got the wheels on it yet but that's all their sawdust left over yeah, it slides right along fine nobody got ran over and uh they're all back in their little burrow spot they seem to be happy in there fresh food life's good for chickens need happy chickens so just uh hook the rope on the tractor and hold them forward